Hi friends, this is your Suraj back again with another interesting topic called flows. Um, I got many requests where uh, many of them are asking how to update multi-select picklist values using flows. So in today's example, let's go and see that. Uh, there are several ways of doing it, but um, after doing a lot many things, I realized like there is a shortcut way as well. Let me show you the shortcut way of uh, applying the values. So in this example, what we do is when I'm creating an account, um, I take in two fields. One is called country and the other is called states. Whenever I selected the country, the country related states has to be auto populate. OK, so in our example, what we do is uh, I'll choose a country called US and I have to auto populate Florida, New Jersey and New York into the values. Let's see how do I do that using flows. I don't take much of your time. I'm getting into the setup. Let me jump to flows. A quick find that helps me a lot most of the time. <laughs> so I'm on the flows. I'm going to create a new flow. Obviously to show you right from the starting. Uh, so my flow is instead of trigger I'm going with a flow. So I created a triggered flow. What is my object? My, my fields are on account and I want to run this every time when I create or update. Um, these are the conditions. If, if you want to keep any conditions, you can or else you don't need it. I don't need any conditions for this example, but in case if you want, you can. <clears throat> this I created one of the flow and uh, let me do an uh, update on the field. So what I do is let me select update triggered record because whatever my account whenever I'm saving the same record I want to update so let me name it as update states so here again uh, the conditions comes so in our requirements I said that if country is equal to USA then only I want to do it or else I'm not doing it then the field values what is the field value i have a field called state and the value you see here by default okay it shows you the pick list values where you can select only one though you go with single pick list or you go with multi select pick list you see only one value at a time it's not allowing you to add more than one so to do that the logic is create a new resource um, i'm going to create a formula type um, if you create a normal variable, it will not allow you. Create a formula and let me say selected states. Some name I'm giving it, okay? The name is up to you. And here is a formula field where I have to keep the values. So what I do is I just take a left off uh, in double quotes. I say go for New Jersey, New York, oops, New Jersey, New York, and Florida so you know the purpose of left right from left how many characters you want to take this is just a random number I've taken I'm not counting how many characters it is but I leave it to you how you want to do it so I selected one I said done so now my flow is done so quick let me test it and show you I'm gonna save it update state the description it's always the best practice to provide a description due to time constraints i'm not providing but when you are writing your flows as a best practice please provide the description let me activate yes so once it is active you see here i created a formula called selected states where i'm giving the static values to update and uh, this is what is my element where it goes and update the record so now I'm back to my account screen, giving some update states, some name, some number, blah, 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 some site, blah, 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 blah. Yep. And you see here, I have two countries. And in my condition entry criteria, I said if it is USA, then only run it. So I select USA, but the states I'm not selecting any states. Click on save. Oops, required field missing. Click on save. 
the account creator. Let me go to details. You see here, the states Florida, New Jersey, New York, multi-select pick list values are updated. So you have to use the logic to use the formula fields in order to update the uh, multi-select pick list. That's all today I want to show you. See you next time on another video. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.